hi guys thank you very much for tuning back into my channel now today we're going to have a look on how to create a nas to nas backup on your uh, basically i have uh, two nas devices and i'm going to do a backup on one device and replicate or do a, a nas to nas replication on a second device so what i'll do straight on i'll get into it fire up your QNAP so I'll log on to my QNAP okay. so there we are as you can see this is the original the, this is where I do my my backups originally and I'm going to have the, the backups from this replicated or backed up on a second NAS device on a second QNAP so uh, what I'll do is to go to the app center. From the app center, I will install an app. Basically, HBS3 hybrid backup is one of the best uh, that you can use for this purpose. So just under backup and sync, you can choose any of these that maybe you're comfortable with. But uh, HBS is one of the best that you can use so long as you have your QNAP. It's a free license most of the time so i'll click on uh, i have already installed otherwise you just click on, on that particular uh, button here to install now do, uh, because i've already installed it i will click on open and go straight to my backup and restore now over here i have the backup now option i will click on this and i'll create a new backup job so click on that button and from there you have a list of uh, all the folders that you want to back up now in my case all my backups are forwarded to this are, are saved in the sr backup folder as you can see i have a few of them already here so what i'll do if i have if i need only to replicate this or this or that then i just select the one that i need to replicate now in this case i will click on the entire folder for the sr backup because i want to back up all of them that's what you that's all you need to do in this case and click on the next button you could uh, decide to back up or replicate your your your, your files or your, your your backup original backup locally that means you'll just be moving it from within this within the QNAP or from one location to another which doesn't really make sense uh, well depends on what you want to achieve but uh, for our uh, example today, I'll be getting my data from one QNAP and sending it to a second QNAP. So I'll click on that option and I will add a new account. Now I already have one, one QNAP here that is set up already, but for the sake of our example, I will be adding a new account and I'll give it a name over here and I'll call it uh, DR, uh, DR QNAP. And I'll put the IP address over here. And I'll click on detect server. Now, I'm going to use the RTRR server account. Now, if I click on detect server and the RTRR server is not yet added, then it will give me that error message. So what I'll do is I will just enable it over here, put the password, the admin password to connect to it. As your admin password to that particular QNAP, click on next for connection or for remote login in. Now to enable that, I need to provide uh, I need to provide a password, and I will put that as uh, well. I'll be using that port, and then click on next. okay so you can see just click on detect and it should give you a, a confirmation that you are able to connect all right now i'm able to connect and i'm connected through three double eight double click on create here and there you go i have my second QNAP, the dr QNAP added over here now just to confirm the source folders is my sr backup folder which i selected previously all right so I'll just click on select. 
when I click on select it goes to the remote QNAP and it gives me uh, an option to select what folder I want to put my uh, backup into select that and then go to OK now when I click OK my backup will be going to this particular folder I can give it a name ethnas and it's just giving me a summary what's gonna happen from here I'm going to send to here and the path is going to be in here and summary basically of whatever I'm going to transfer source folder destination folder if I need to change anything I can change still from here or from here which I do not need I just click on next and I give it a schedule so when you come to this stage where you do the scheduling I will click on this to add a schedule and from here I want to write I want to run this daily and daily I will do it most probably from 5 p.m. 17 hours and I set end date I do not want an end date I want it just to continue running until I decide so and click on OK and then yeah I have my daily schedule at 17 hours which I could edit or delete if I can save that so here we are that is our job that has been created our backup job that has been created of NAS to NAS from this uh, from uh, this particular NAS to the remote one and uh, I hope that has been uh, very useful to you uh, please give this video a thumbs up if you like it and if you haven't subscribed to my channel I would appreciate if you click the subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video